Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be looking at the Paris sticker sale which is on the horizon. Now I'm not just going to be talking about the stickers, I also am going to be touching on some of the other aspects of the Paris sale as well, so stick around to see what I have to say. No sponsor on this video, but if you want to go ahead and support the channel and pick up some cool skins, I have some links to different marketplaces in the description below. Thanks. So let's talk Paris sticker sale. Firstly, the Paris sticker sale should start the day that this video is uploaded, or if it doesn't, it should be the day after. That's just going off of the history of previous sales. Now for those of you that have been waiting for the sticker sale to invest into either Stockholm, Antwerp, or Paris, good news, it's very likely going to be the cheapest prices you can possibly get all of those three. If you're holding Stockholm or Antwerp at the current moment and you're not planning on doing this long term, and this Paris sticker sale hasn't started yet for you, I would go ahead and just sell right now. We're likely going to see another decrease once the Paris sticker sale starts. Now the reason Stockholm and Antwerp are likely going to decline once Paris starts is because Paris is already a competitive addition of stickers to Stockholm and Antwerp. Basically, it occupies the same area of the market that those two stickers do as well, because Paris is also borderless with good hollow effects. So when they become more massively available to people, there's likely going to be people dumping off their Stockholm and Antwerp stickers, which should cause a decline. Now, the Paris sticker sale and the surrounding few days is likely going to be the best time to buy into Paris. We should see the cheapest prices you can possibly get any of the capsules or the stickers for around this time. If these sticker sale things are a totally foreign concept to you, basically autograph capsules and sticker capsules go 75% off, which means instead of being a dollar, they'll actually be 25 cents. They may be a little bit cheaper on the Steam market, so keep an eye out for that. And if you're investing using your buff balance, you're probably going to have to wait a week for the cheapest prices on buff, because that's when these 25 cent sticker capsules become available. Okay, so now that I've explained the mechanics of the sticker sale, let's talk about investing into it. I'm going to start with the safer side of things, which is the viewer passes. Normally I talk about this at the end of videos because it's a very short little concept, but there's a lot of new people to investing, so I wanted to go ahead and get it out of the way right away. If you're not looking to risk anything on the capsules, performance and you think that the overinvestment argument holds weight, then consider buying into the viewer passes. Year over year, these have been one of the safest investments you can possibly make. Obviously, they're not going to return a huge amount of profit in a short period of time, but if you don't care about waiting and you don't want to risk anything, these are going to be your best bet. I would specifically recommend looking at the souvenir token version, because those souvenir tokens can be redeemed long into the future. And because another major won't happen for a year, it's very likely that these souvenir packages will be fairly expensive, and therefore the souvenir tokens will also be fairly valuable. So for those of you looking for a safer option, that's going to be your best bet. As for the souvenir packages themselves, your best bet is likely going to be the Mirage souvenir package. And this is going to be for two main reasons. The first one is that it does, of course, have the souvenir Op Desert Hydra. It's one of the only instances of souvenir packages currently that has such a legendary crazy skin available in it. So that's going to cause a lot more people to open it long term which will positively affect its price for investors. The second reason that the Mirage Souvenir Package is likely going to be your best bet is because there is a myriad of options for team stickers that you can actually get on the Souvenir Packages. Mirage is one of the maps that pretty much every team played, so if you want a specific combination of team stickers, it's likely going to be Mirage. Now that of course is not as important of a factor as the first factor, but it's still something to keep in mind. And now moving on to stickers specifically. Now the stickers I think are going to be the best investments long term are going to be as follows. Apex, Gamer Legion, Mouse, Furia, and Pain Gaming. Over the course of the major, I've been studying these stickers very particularly and looking at a lot of different crafting options with these stickers, and these seem to be the best ones. Pain Gaming is going to be a fantastic sticker for pretty much any red or yellow craft in the entire game. There's also a lot of high tiers that would look very, very nice with Pain Gaming stickers. For example, the M4A4 Howl and the Welcome to the Jungle are both fantastic items to put Pain Gaming stickers on. Gamer Legion is well an extremely craftable sticker. When you're inspecting it in the store, it doesn't look like anything too insane, but once you actually craft it onto an item, it actually gains this sort of Miami hollow effect, which we've only really seen before with the Miami stickers from Operation Riptide. And those are all very popular stickers. Plus, of course, Gamer Legion had one of their great Cinderella runs, and if they do continue this performance into CS2, they will probably become a very popular team. These stickers look great on a myriad of popular items as well, like the M4A1S Decimator, so that's why I think they'll be a great option. Now, as for the Apex Hollow, I think this one is going to be extremely underrated. The Apex Hollow, again, doesn't look like anything too special when you're inspecting it in the in-game store, but once crafted, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. It actually has this really cool orange and green effect on it. It also fits a myriad of popular skins, like the AK-47 Aquamarine Revenge and the Desert Eagle Ocean Drive. And before we continue, I wanted to talk about why I'm talking about crafting the stickers onto items and why that's a good factor for upward price movement. Now, the reason for that is because the more a sticker is crafted once these become unobtainable in the in-game store, the faster the supply is going to dry up. If we look, for example, at Mao's Hollow Crafts, that sticker was crafted onto items a ton because it looks so good. And as a result, over time, the Mao's Hollow obviously went up in price a lot. It's going to be a similar story here, the hollows that are the most craftable are likely going to see the most upward price movement, because their supply is going to dwindle as time goes on. 
Now I think Furia is a great option as well here. Now while I'm not personally a huge fan of its hollow effect, they actually enlarged the Furia sticker a lot for this major sticker iteration. Compare this for example to the Stockholm Furia sticker, this one is a lot bigger. It also has an extremely unique hollow effect. This sort of blue and orange coloration that it has isn't really seen anywhere else on any other stickers, and although it's not as craftable as some of the other stickers, I still think it's going to be a very good option. It was also one of the most popular stickers when the Paris capsules came out and the major hadn't started yet, which is good because it means that when you remove confounding variables variables like team performance in the major, the Furia Hollow is still an extremely popular option to buy, and that's why its price was so high when the capsules first came out. Now that's not to say that these are the only stickers you should be looking at, I also think for example an honorable mention is the Navi Hollow. it's probably the best iteration of a Navi sticker we've ever had, comparable to Katowice 2014, it has this really really cool yellow and blue hollow effect with this very deep royal blue color which we don't see very often, and it looks fantastic on a ton of different items like the AK Fuel Injector for example, so that just goes to show that you don't have to by exactly what I just stated, there are other options as well. Now of course I want to talk about Antwerp and Stockholm as well. Antwerp and Stockholm should see the cheapest prices historically during this sticker sale as well, like I said because of the competition, so if you sold off a large amount of your Antwerp and Stockholm investments and you're looking to get back into it, this could be a really good time. Unlike the Paris sticker sales over investment arguments, Antwerp and Stockholm are no longer in the end game store, they will only be available in third party means, so their supply at this point is pretty much capped out. Now personally, if I were you, I would kind of ignore Paris for the most part and just look at Antwerp and Stockholm. But for personal reasons, of course, I know a lot of people are going to be interested in Paris investing, so that's why I wanted to talk about it either way. However, with the Paris sticker sale, Antwerp and Stockholm are going to be a far less risky option. You're not going to be concerned about overinvestment whatsoever. You're going to see really, really cheap prices on everything, and there's still extremely craftable stickers that will continue to be crafted into the future. To pick one specific sticker out particularly, I would look at the Cloud9 Hollow from Antwerp. This Hollow is absolutely fantastic. I've talked about it many times before. We've already seen this thing reach the $50 mark, and at the current moment it's only sitting at like $25, so the potential is still definitely there. It's a pink tier hollow, unlike Stockholm, which are purple tier hollows, so people will have to open more capsules in order to obtain it. And of course, it's extremely craftable. So many items can use a sticker like this and look very, very nice. So yeah, if you're not exactly too excited about the Paris prospects, then definitely look to our older brothers instead. I know I'm going to be taking this opportunity to go into Stockholm and Antwerp for sure, so keep all of that in mind. And with that, we're going to come to the end of this video. Hopefully this gave you a good grasp on the sticker sale and some potential targets that you can buy into. If you liked the video, be sure to click the like button. It helps a lot and gets the video out onto the algorithm and costs you absolutely nothing. If you want to support the channel directly, you can use my affiliate links when you're buying skins on a bunch of different popular marketplaces down below. Also make sure to check out my Twitter and my Discord server if you want some more direct investment help. Subscribe to the channel for the best CSGO investment tips anywhere else on YouTube, and I can promise that I've started watching a lot of the new short investing videos that have been popping up in my feed, and they're absolutely awful, people have no idea what they're talking about, and are talking out of complete ignorance. Anyway, that's going to close off the video, thanks for watching guys, see you next time, peace.